If you're wondering whether you have a case for your brain injury, there's one thing to do. You need to contact an attorney, explain the circumstances of your injury, and get a legal opinion. It won't cost you anything to do that. If you're injured in an Indiana brain injury case, you have several options. One option is not to bring a claim at all. You could be injured on the job and have workers' compensation to pay your damages. Or you may just decide to use your own health insurance and disability insurance. However, if you've suffered a brain injury, it's a serious matter and you should strongly consider bringing a lawsuit. That means hiring an attorney. Unlike other types of personal injury claims where almost any attorney could handle the case, a brain injury claim is different. They're big cases. They require specialized knowledge. They require expert witnesses and they require experience. So if you've been injured and have suffered a brain injury, carefully interview the attorney that you're considering to make sure they have experience handling such claims. Unlike a simple back strain or shoulder strain case, you should never accept a settlement offer in a brain injury case unless you have talked to an attorney, carefully considered the offer, and done your homework. Rarely would you accept a settlement offer from the insurance company pre-suit in a brain injury case. As with other personal injury accidents, if your brain injury was caused by an accident due to someone's negligence, you have two years to bring a claim. If you don't settle or file a lawsuit within that time, your claim will be barred. Under Indiana law, there are no limits on damages that can be recovered in a brain injury case. Brain injury cases are among the largest settlements and verdicts in our state, and fortunately there are no caps on those damages. In an Indiana brain injury case, the claim is made on behalf of the injured party. However, if they suffered a serious brain injury, they may be under a guardianship. In that case, it would be the spouse or other person appointed by the court as the guardian who would bring the personal injury claim in the name of the injured person. The injured party is the proper party to bring a brain injury case in Indiana. The spouse of someone injured would also have a claim for loss of consortium. Those would be the only two parties. Others in the family who are affected by the accident, such as family members or children, although they may be witnesses at trial, cannot bring their own claim. Anyone who caused your brain injury can be sued. It might happen from a slip and fall accident due to a spill in a store. It may happen due to the carelessness of a general contractor on a construction site, or it may do, be a truck driver who blew a stoplight. In any of these circumstances, if you've suffered a brain injury, you have a claim. If you suffered your, your brain injury due to a work-related accident and it was the fault of your own employer, unfortunately you will not be able to file a claim against them. Workers' compensation will be your only remedy. To win your Indiana brain injury case, you'll need to prove several things. First, you'll need to prove somebody was at fault. Whether it's an auto accident, a slip and fall, or a construction site accident, you need to prove negligence on behalf of the defendant. If you get over that hump, you'll have to prove that that negligence caused your injuries. And in a brain injury case, that's going to require expert testimony from your medical doctor. It can be difficult to win a brain injury case. That's why proper preparation is essential. Sometimes, if someone looks at you, they may think you're fine. You may walk into court and look like a healthy man or woman, but you're not. If you suffered a brain injury, you're a different person, and it's the attorney's job to convince the jury that your life has been altered. 